Annyeonghaseyo, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. Tonight's feature is the seventh film in the East Side Kids series, Spooks Run Wild. But first, we're galloping along to the conclusion of Zorro's Black Whip. Last time, bandits opened fire on a pair of boots sitting under a curtain. Then Hammond realized that Barbara is the Black Whip because the writers had just given up. Vic literally fell into the cave of the Black Whip and did what he'd always dreamed of doing, put on Barbara's clothes. He went to rescue Barbara and got beat up. Then the bandits set off a landslide, collapsing the hideout with Vic and Barbara inside. And now, episode 10 of Zorro's Black Whip, Fangs of Doom. inside fighting with Mac. You mean to say the Meredith girl isn't the Black Whip? No. What are you figuring to do with that explosive? I'm going to blow up that shack. You'd have to get too close. They're have to drill you. Give me that stuff. You stay here and keep them pinned in the shack. I'll go up on top of that cliff and blast it down on them. Right. he got away. But at least your story will convince them that you're not the Black Whip. I'd be a lot happier if you let them stay convinced. I can't do that, Vic. My brother made a legend of the Black Whip. I'm going to carry it on until law and order are established in Idaho. But it's no job for a girl, Barbara. Let me take it over. Then only one of us could act against the outlaws. And you have plenty to do as undercover man for the government. All right. I'll keep your dark secret. At least until Idaho's enemies are beaten. Harris had the girl a prisoner when the Black Whip showed up. Well, that proves that she's not the Black Whip. We've got to figure... What is it, Hedges? There's another wagon train coming into town. Why weren't they stopped at the border? The citizens patrol drove us off again. And we'll have to find some way to get rid of that patrol. Well, that's a big order. They're well-armed and well-mounted. That's it. You gave me the answer. Who? Me? Mounts. That's the answer. Without horses, there won't be any citizens patrol. We're going to take every horse they got. Raid the ranch, steal them, drive them off, do anything you have to. Start right away. All right. From now on, they patrol on foot. It's an outrage. 
without the border patrol, every wagon train is being turned back. And that means we're losing settlers who would vote for statehood. That's all very true. But the patrol can't work without horses. Say, Barbara, whose horses are those I saw in your corral? Oh, they belong to Bill Slocum. He was driving them through and rented my corral to let them rest up for a few days. Maybe we could talk Slocum into selling them. There's enough there to help us over the present crisis. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. It looks like the answer to our problems. You'll save the day if you can put that over. We'll go out and see if Mr. Slocum will agree to it. We can't let that patrol have those horses. Send a couple of men out to Meredith's ranch and drive them off before that girl and Gordon get there. I'll send them right away. There they are in the corral, but we'll have to take care of Slocum first. Give me time to circle around behind him, and then you ride in. I'm a little worried, Vic. You know, maybe we shouldn't have told the Citizens Committee about the horses. You mean you don't want the patrol to get them? Of course I do, but I want to be sure they get them. I've been wondering if maybe somebody on the committee is giving information to the outlaws. It's possible. It would explain how they anticipate every move we make. Is anybody guarding the horses? Mr. Slocum, but he's all by himself. We'd better hurry. No, Barbara. Your suspicion about a leak in the committee must be right. We got here just in time. But not in time to save Mr. Slocum. That's too bad. But his horses will help us run down the men responsible for his death. But there are so few of them, Vic. But there's a way we might locate the stolen horses. It's a long shot. But this horse has probably been corralled with the stolen stock. If I turn him loose, he may lead me to the outlaw's corral. I'll drive these other horses after him as if I were rustling them. You undercover men uncover bright ideas. I'll telephone Ten Point and have him tell the marshal that we'll bring the horses in later. Fine. before we could drive off the horses. He killed Flack and grabbed his horse. He's going to turn it loose and trail it. Well, I'll spike that plan. You'd better. It'll probably lead him right to our corral in Hidden Valley.
I rounded up a pretty good bunch. Who are you? My name's Davis. Baxter hired me. Any of the other boys around? Yeah. Black's over at the barn. Thanks. I'll run over and see him. I said I thought you'd rustle a lot more. That's just a few of them out in the corral. When we get enough, we take them up the other end of the valley. Thanks. That's one I missed. I know a trick I'm going to miss if I don't get help on the deal. What's the play? A gold shipment can be grabbed. Why don't you see Baxter? I only do business with the big boss. I've been dealt out in deals before. I might take you to the big boy for the right kind of a cut. We won't have any trouble. But we've got to act quick. Where do we see him? Crescent City. Let's go. Stand where you are, Gordon. Take his gun, Black. Feature is Spooks Run Wild. The East Side kids are taken from their home in the city to a summer camp to learn some skills and manners. However, there are reports of a monster killer in the area, and the kids find themselves in an old estate newly inhabited by Bella Lugosi. As I said at the top of the show, this is the seventh entry in the East Side Kids film series, but don't worry, you won't need any notes to get all caught up. The kids are various New York stereotypes, and the movie leans on that being enough without having to do actual jokes or make them characters. I do feel like I need to offer some caveats about this movie, though. But I also feel like those are covered by... It was made in 1941. To put it another way, there's a little person, as well as a black person in this movie, and their portrayals are... well... They certainly could have been worse. While that's a low bar, so few movies from that period clear it that it's worth mentioning. Also worth noting is the irony that while the black actor is playing a racist stereotype, he's also the most charismatic and memorable character in the movie. You'll see a lot more of what I mean in the second half, but let's end this preamble and get straight to tonight's feature, Spooks Run Wild.
arms with me. Hey, Danny, God, hit him with Glimpy. Go ahead. Well, Hey, you cops, stop pushing me. I'm going to beat the Catskills. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This guy's too serious. Well, we got your boys for you. Thanks, officer. They might be underprivileged, but they sure ain't underdeveloped. I guess they got us, folks. Take a couple of squad cars and these Dick Tracy braces. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to have your back. Well, I write the boys on 4th Street. Hey, where are we going? Man, we're going to camp. Camp? What, have we been drafted? I'm disappointed. I thought we was going to reform school. I would have been a sophomore this year. Oh, kid. Yeah. Well, what do you want us to do with them? Pass them in the bus. I'll fix them, cops. I'll go to the country and get sick and die and come back and haunt them. I swear. Uh, I don't care. Uh, Stop here for a few minutes, just long enough to pick up mail supplies. I hope you don't mind. Okay. I got to check one of those back tires anyway. Take me about ten minutes. Good. Say, fellas, don't any of you wander away. Look around if you want to, but don't get far away from the bus. Right? Come on, honey. Yes, sit down. What was the bright idea of that? Oh, that? Just a little scientific curiosity, that's all. Law of gravitation, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, can see we're all going to have lots of fun together in the next two weeks. Yeah, so can I. <laughs> That'll be good. I ain't got no sense of humor, that's all. Say, so you fellas hang around here. I'm a little window shopping. Yeah. I don't like that guy's altitude. Me neither. If anybody thinks I'm going to stay up here and associate with him and all these cows and chickens, they're crazy. You no, know, I milked a cow once. Yeah. A very intricate affair. You see, a cow has four faucets. What for? Well, the first faucet is for buttermilk, the second for bottom milk, and the third is for evaporated milk. What's the fourth one for? Come to think of this cow only had three. Oh, that cow must have been contented. Oh, very contented. Are you contented? Oh, extremely so. That's fine. I don't get it. Hey, listen. You guys lay low, see? I think I got an angle. As soon as it gets dark... Make we'll... a break? That's right. Good. Hey, I'm thirsty! What do you have? I don't know. You got a menu? Uh -huh, certainly. I'll have some of that. That's the name of the town, silly. Oh, that's what I thought. Give me a root beer. All righty. And uh, what do you have? Uh, I'll have a, a demi-tasse and a large cup of black coffee. A what? I'll have a root beer, too. And uh, what'll you have? You. You're very fresh. I hope your bread is just as fresh. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Got a date. How about tomorrow night? I've got a date. How about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night? I got, got a date. Well, that kills that week. Hey, what's your name? Margie. Margie? Margie. Uh -huh. What a moniker. Margie and Muggsy. Hey, that's got a lot on them out of here. We're going to camp, you know. Yeah, we're underprivileged. We interrupt this program for an important announcement to listeners near Hillside and Colton. All citizens are warned to be on the lookout for the monster killer who is believed to be in this vicinity. This maniac has left the trail of three inhuman murders and is believed heading upstate. We return you now to your program. Monsters? They don't mean nothing to us. We eat them every morning for breakfast. Bring those monsters on. I ain't a scared of them. I'm anemic. I was taken for a ride once. You were? Yeah, there I was. Miles from Times Square, somewhere in Central Park, I think. And them gangsters, they had me backed against a tree. And I got a machine gun saying one. <laughs> hey, what do you think happened? I don't know what happened. He got killed. killed. Oh. Fantastic, wasn't it? Hey, there goes a 
boss. Bust, didn't he? Yeah. I've been looking for you, Jim. Oh, hello there, Mayor. What's on your mind? Did you hear that stuff on the radio about that monster coming this way? Yep, and that ain't all. I just got a telegram from the state police. You did, huh? They better come inside and talk it over. Jeff Dixon, if you don't stop pouting, I'll scream. I'm not pouting. Who? For no reason at all. That's no way to enjoy a vacation. Vacation? Are you kidding? With that bunch of gorillas, it'll be a nightmare. They're not gorillas. They're young and a little wild, maybe. Besides, you know perfectly well the campus boys who are denied the things you've had. Well, all right, so they need the outdoor life. But I was hoping for a nice, quiet summer at camp so I could study my thesis and be with you. Instead of that, it's going to be as quiet around here as the fun house at Coney Island. Well, some excitement will do us good. It's been a dull summer till now. Well, I like that. So now I'm dull. No, but lawyers aren't usually exciting. They're steady and, well, solid, like the Rock of Gibraltar. And just about as good company, I suppose. Well, you listen to me, Linda Mason. I may be studying to be a lawyer. And a good one, too. Yes, and a good one, too. <laughs> okay, you win. You're a good nurse, too. <laughs> hey, you know that guy that runs this place? It wouldn't be bad if it wasn't for his disposition. Eh, hey, he ain't no good. But that girl that hangs around with him, she ain't bad. Hey, what's she supposed to be? According to a uniform, I guess she's a nurse. A nurse? Pardon me, well, I run a temperature. Well, anyhow, the chow was okay. I didn't eat it. What? It was full of bugs. That do you mean? I heard that nurse said with her own mouth that the thing had vitamins in it. Man, it sure is dark in here. I'll say, I can't even see you. <laughs> I can't even see myself. Hey, what's that? It's an owl. I know it's an owl, but who's howling? That's an owl. It's got four legs and fleas. How can you read in the dark? Huh? How can you read in the dark? I went to night school. Hey, shut up, will you? Let a guy go to sleep. Hey, Muggs. What? I'm not scared or nothing like that, but remember what we heard about that, that guy on the radio? So? Well, suppose he was prowling around here. Don't you think we ought to stand guard or something? Yeah, you just go out and set a couple of bear traps for him. Happy dreams, Slappy. This book is murder. Thirsting for the flow of bright red blood. At this moment... Uh, my friend. Evening. You are a resident here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Then perhaps you can tell me where the Billings estate is. The Billings estate? Why, it ain't been lived in for ten years. Not since old man Billings was murdered in his sleep. Interesting. But you were about to tell me where it was. Oh, sure. Sure. It's up there. On the top of Billings Mountain. Oh, I see. Is there a road to it? Yes, but... Uh... Thank you. Good night, my friend.
It's you. What do you mean? I know you. I know who he is, too. He? The monster. He was here just a second ago, just now. The radio said he was coming and he's here. And you know who I am? Of course. I read about you in this book. You're Dr. Von Grosch, and you've come here to save us from him. Yes, I am Dr. Von Grosch. I knew it. I knew it right away. And the monster, did you know him at once also? Right from the start. Couldn't miss him with those glaring eyes and red lips. The dwarf, too, like a little black spider. And the trailer full of coffins. I was right in the middle of the book when they come in. Where have they gone? Said he was going to the empty Billings estate. On top of the hill. Yes, the solitude he needs. Tell me, this, this knowledge you possess, you've gained it all from that book? Oh, sure. You see, I'm kind of a student of uh, black magic. Well, say, I better tell the constable you're here. You'll need help. No, wait. We must proceed slowly, carefully. As you know, at night the monster is strong and the police would be helpless against him. I guess that's right. I know that's right. Perhaps... Perhaps you'd like to help me. Oh, sure, Dr. Von Groch. Fine. Now, first, though you may speak of the monster's arrival, you must keep my presence a secret. That is of the utmost importance. You have a room, some place where we may converse? Oh, yeah. I've got a cottage. Uh, just take a few minutes to close up the station. There won't be any more business anyway. Fine, I'll wait here. so good I'm got a little insomnia. Why don't you put some liniment on it? I know where you're going. You got a date with our girl Margie. So I got a date with Margie. So what? So we got a date too and we're gonna keep it. You guys can't leave camp. You'll get in trouble. You gotta have a permit. You got one? I certainly. Let's see it. Hmm. There's a left in my smoking jacket. I quit surrounding me will you? I'm going and I'm going alone. That makes three of us going alone. Sidewalks are free. Who ever heard of sidewalks in the woods? Didn't I tell you to be quiet? of the dead. Do they too hear the howling of the frightened dogs? <laughs> no. Diana Billings. Winter came after 18 short Summers. She was beautiful. Hey, you! What are you doing here? These mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Why didn't you put citronella on like we did? Citronella? I thought you said vanilla. I'm giving these guys a party. Hey, I wonder if we're heading in the right direction. Ah, you got nothing to worry about, pal. I got my compass with me. Well, which way are we going? So dark, I can't see the compass. Here, I'll give you a little light. That's a fine thing. Someone stole one of the hands off. Somebody stole one of their hands. You must have been a magician. A compass only has one hand. Well, why don't somebody loan me those things? Come on, let's get out of this shell hole. I wonder if this is a cow trail or the state highway. 
Hey, nice place for a picnic. You run out of toothpicks, you can use pine needles. Why don't you look where you're going? What are you looking for? Remember what we heard on the radio about that, that ghoul, that guy that sucks all the blood out of you? What would he be doing out here, sucking the sap out of the trees? Hey, does the guy really suck the blood out of you? Yeah. Well, I got nothing to worry about, because the mosquitoes got all mine. Ow! Oh! That was a Messerschmitt. Hey, what if he really was out here? What if you was back home? Yeah? Your old man would give you a hit in the head like that. I ain't got an old man. The kid's an orphan. Oh, tripping, huh? You know, it's a five-yard penalty for that. Come on, let's move. Bob Wyatt, hold it. Hope there ain't no bulls oh. over here. Hey, hold it for me now, will you? Come on, Muggs. Yeah, hey, I'm holding it, I'm hey. holding it. Come on, Slim. Hey, Doc! Hey, Doc! Hey, Hey, What are you guys hey. doing here? Why aren't you back in camp? Oh, why should we stay in camp when you fellas go to town? Hey, get me out of here, will you? I can what see my hate with March. He's gonna be about as private oh, as the Delancey my... Street fish market on Friday. You know, I'm starting to think we're lost. Yeah, we should have been in town a long time ago. I'd get back to camp if I only knew the way. Ah, uh, quit drooling, you're getting me wet. Who asked you guys to follow me in the first place? Hey, a graveyard. We can't be far from town. Come on, let's cut across it. It may be a shortcut. If it's all the same to you, Muggs, I'd like to detour. Oh, come on, you chump. We'll be out of it in a minute. Uh, how long is a minute? That's too long, brother. After you catch me, I'll stop. Hey, there's a house. Where? Right up there, on top of the hill. Cozy looking place, ain't it? We ain't looking for no rich car. We're looking for a place to get Pee Wee patched up. Come on, let's go. Oh, there's somebody there. We want to get him to a doctor. Visitors? You might as well, huh? Yeah. 
What kind of a place is this, anyway? I don't know, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Who is it? It's me. Listen, Schooner, the next time you come out of the dock, put a coat of whitewash on, will you? I'm so scared, I'm turning white now. Oh, I wish that guy would hurry up. I'm getting tired. Ow! Good evening. I must apologize for the state of my home. It has been without occupants for many years. Oh, well, look. Our buddy here's been hurt. We was walking through the cemetery, taking a shortcut to town, and somebody took a pot shot at him. How unfortunate. He should lie down. Don't you think we ought to get a doctor? Perhaps later. Come with me. calling a doctor. There's no telephone here. However, I have some knowledge of medicine. I will treat you, friend. I suggest you wait outside. Or better still, in my study. Thank you. Okay. Come on, fellas. Uh, see you later. We've looked everywhere, not a sign of them. Did you look down by the lake? Yes, everywhere. Well, what are you going to do? Nothing. Well, Jeff, we've got to find them. They're city kids. If they're lost in the woods... I they'll... hope they are. Jeff Dixon, do you know what you're saying? I certainly do. Those kids have been nothing but trouble from the beginning. If they're lost, it's their own fault. So you're going to sit there all night? Oh. Hey, what are you going to do? If you're not man enough to go after them, I'll do it myself. But, but Linda... Hey, maybe she's serious. <laughs> she's been reading Florence Nightingale. She'll be back when she gets tired. Hey, I don't like the looks of this place. Neither do I. Let's get out of here, huh? Hey, yeah, let's get out of here. Well, that Lee Pee we here, we gotta wait till he's docked it up. Hey, you think that bird up there's all right? What if he's a... Uh... What if he's what? I don't know, but I sure hope he hurries up. Me too. What's the matter? There's a skeleton in there. He was slapping right in my face. Yeah, what's he so happy about? A skull! Go, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, look, look. Go ahead, look for yourself. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, there ain't nothing in there. Do it. No, do it. You picture that? Aye, oh, yeah, aye, seen it with my own eyes. Do you feel all right, kid? I never felt better in my life. But, uh, you think we ought to get by, get out of here, huh? Without Pee Wee? We'll get, we'll go up and see what's wrong with Pee Wee now, huh? Come get on. Get there first. How's Pee Wee? Baby. Oh, your friend. He's resting well. Well, we want to see him. Um, I suggest you should not disturb him. Uh, we ain't gonna disturb him, we just wanna see him. Hey, hey, Pee Wee. He's dead. Not at all. He's merely asleep. Yeah? What you do, give him a Mickey or something? No, your friend was in pain, and I found it necessary to give him a mild sedative. You see, I have given him the proper treatment. Well, how are we gonna get out of here with him like that? Or leaving is out of the question. 
Your friend must not be moved. But we gotta get back to camp. Yeah, I'm hungry. Vitamins or no vitamins. Always talking about food. We can't leave Pee-wee here alone. That will not be necessary. My home is not equipped for visitors, but Luigi prepared rooms for you. You will be my guest for the night. Come, I show you to your rooms. That's fine, but one of us is staying here. Hey, Scruto, you keep Pee-wee company. Hurry. Who, 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 me? Yeah, you. We'll take time. I'll relieve you later. Okay, Mr. Uh... You will notice uh, this is a very old house. In some respect, a very strange one. You ain't kidding. The maid service in this hotel is terrible. <laughs> Hey, Glippy, you and Skinny take that room. Just me and Skinny? What do you want, a nurse? Don't forget to call me every half hour, huh? Yeah, I'll tell the operator. A very charming room in a repulsive sort of way. Hey, this looks like one of those beds George Washington slept in. <coughs> well, it's about time to change the sheets. Let's get some light on this subject, huh? I understand this room was occupied by the late owner of this house at the time of his death. I hope this knowledge will not disturb your sleep. Luigi has placed a candle somewhere, I'm sure. Good night. Say, uh, maybe you better lend us your candle. Yeah, come Good on. Good night. Oh, you know your way around here better than us. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, go ahead. No, I'll follow you. We'll both go together. Okay. See, uh, maybe I better get a flashlight, huh? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go together. Yeah, yeah, you said that once. You know something? I like this room much better than the dark. And I don't like the dark. Get a load of this joint, will you? Is this murder? No wonder the guy died. Forgive me if I startled you. You would perhaps like this candle. Good night. Good This thing's gone far enough. Okay. You know doggone well what thing you seen, Lem Harvey? Yes. Well, why haven't you gone up the hill and arrested that fella? Well, Mayor, you can't go around arresting folks until you know for sure. You gotta have proof. Proof. You know that monster was headed this way. Radio said so. The state police wired you. Lem Harvey saw him with a trailer full of coffins. A crazy killer running around loose butchering women and ch What kind of proof do you want? Some little girl murdered out in the woods? I tell you, Jim, you gotta do something. Well, take it easy, Mayor. I'm doing all I legally can. I've sworn in a lot of deputies, and I'm going to have every inch of road within 20 miles of this village patrolled every hour of the day. All right, Jim, but it's your responsibility. You've been elected to protect the women and children of this community, and it's up to you to do it. And don't forget, we've got that boys' camp on our hands, too. Why don't you lay down, Muggs, and try to get some sleep? Yeah, I don't feel like sleeping. You know, there's something funny about that bird. Besides, I'm worried about Pee-wee. Yeah, I know it. So am I. Well, let's go see him. Okay. Well, all right. Let's go. Hello. What's the matter with you? We come sleep in our room. It ain't cheerful like this one. And hey, where are you going? We're going to see Pee-wee. Hey, that's a good idea. Come on. Who 
Who's that? Sir. Who is us? Us is me. What's the matter with you, Scuno? Ain't nothing the matter with me, it's him. He been like that all the time? Man, he ain't moved a muscle. I think he's dead. Hey, Pee-wee. Hey, Pee-wee. That clinches it. Now we're gonna get tough. We're going downstairs and have a showdown. You fellas come with me, Scuno. You watch Pee Wee. And if anybody comes up here, you let out a holler. Listen, Mugs, you got the wrong man for this job. I, I, I'm better in the crowd. Look, you heard him, didn't you? Let's go. Yeah, and keep your eyes open. You don't think I'm gonna stay in here for one minute and close them, do you? Pee Wee. Pee Wee. You ain't dead, is you? Say you ain't. If you can't say nothing, just shake your head. Tonight's feature is Spooks Run Wild, and I'm a little surprised at how many horror tropes are present here. I mean, the plot is basically kids being menaced by a serial killer while at summer camp, even if it does become a haunted house adventure real quick. Plus, I'm always gobsmacked when watching these old horror comedies to see how much Scooby-Doo borrowed from them. I always think of Scooby-Doo as establishing the tropes, not repeating them, but I dare you to watch the second half of this movie and not say, like yoinks, at some point. That said, hopefully you've had enough time to refill your Scooby Snacks as we return to Spooks Run Wild. Nobody in here. Let's look somewhere else. Ah, let's go in. We open the door, will you? Come on, come on, stop playing, will you? Come on, hey. Hey, open this door, I want to get out of here. Slender shown up? Not yet. When she does, tell her I've gone to town to see the constable. We'll probably need a searching party. Okay. That clinches it. That guy's a monster. We're getting Pee Wee and leaving here. Hey, maybe he's done something to him. Maybe Pee Wee will be like he is. I don't know about that, but we're leaving before we find out. Hey, do you think that guy's dead like it says? What's the matter with you? Can't you read? It says here that in the night he prowls about seeking new victims. And in the daytime he sleeps in a coffin. Well, let's wait till daytime, huh? We ain't waiting for nothing. We're going right now. Remind me not to come back here on my vacation. I'll put it in my blue book. Leave the house. Hey, open the door. I can't. The door is locked. Well, where's the key? I don't know. I ain't got it. All right, stand aside. We'll bust it down. Go ahead, Glimp. Bust it down. I ain't no Superman. You bust it down. You break it down. Why should I break it down? Break it down. Oh, come on, boys. When you bust the door, then I got a bum shoulder. Oh, Go you've ahead. been reading too many Flash Gardens. I don't want to do that. Somebody's got to open it. Oh, I'm not doing it. That's the way. <laughs> Well, what took you so long to open it? It didn't open the door. It opened by itself. Sit down. You'll be all right. Hey, where's Pee Wee? I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? What do you do, just get up and walk out? That's exactly what I don't mean. Nothing else but. He got up out of that bed, walked out of this room, didn't even look at me or say a word. That's funny. Say, look here, y'all know one thing? I believe Pee Wee done been turned into a zombie. A zombie? What do you mean? You should have seen that glassy stare in his eyes and the way he didn't listen when I was talking to him. Now, you know what I mean? Zombie, you know, Zombie, we're gonna find Pee-wee and get him out of the spider's paradise, see? Now, the first thing we do is... Where is your friend? That's what we want to know. What'd you do to him? I? I did nothing. 
In his condition, he should not be moved. Well, we're going to find him and bring him back to camp. No, no, I insist that you stay. You see, you're weary. And you see things not as they are, but as your imagination paints them for you. I suggest that you all retire and that Luigi and myself look for your friend. He cannot have gone for her. Well, maybe you're right. I think I got hallucinations, huh? Yeah, I guess I've been painting pictures, huh? Well, what do you say, fellas? We all get a good night's sleep and talk about it after breakfast, huh? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Horror Man. Not the whole world just wanted to call up. Call up, I'm not giving guy a little bit. Hey, get away. Come on, fellas, let's go. Come on, hurry up. Oh, boy, not guy. Yeah, it's locked. You'll never get out of there. Listen, Danny Me's gonna take the top floor, see? You, Glimpy, you take Skinny and Scruno and search this floor and the one below. If anything happens, holler. And if you find Pee-wee, holler even louder. We'll meet you down at the foot of the stairs. Come on. Let's okay. go. Go ahead, Scruno, look in there. No, 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 I, I ain't gonna look in there. Ah, oh, you're yellow. If I'm yellow, use carbine. What are you scared about? I'll be right behind you. Go ahead. That's long enough. There's nothing in there. Stay close, will you, Mugs? I am. I am. Hey, got a match, bud? So what was that? Maybe someone's trying to break the leaves, huh? Hey, we ought to have a candle. Yeah, I'll go get one. You two guys stay right here. I'll be back. Hey, Grumpy said to wait. I know what he said, but something tells me to keep moving. Nothing in there. There's nothing in there. No, nothing there. Hey, Pee-wee! Say, you reckon he gonna be in there? I don't know. Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go in there. You know what he said. Don't go in there. Just wait for him. Well, I just take a look and see. Hey, Skinny. Skinny! Stop kidding. Did you in there? Ain't nobody in there. He's gone. Get out of here. Oh, it's you, Glenby. Where's Skinny? I don't know. He done disappeared. What do you mean disappeared? Well, he went in that box and he's gone. Box where? Show Come me. on, I'll show you. Come on. I'll go see. You stay right here. Don't move. Hey, Glimpy. Glimpy? Is you in there? You is, ain't you? Come on now. We ain't got all night. The both is gone. Oh, uh -huh. Muggsy? Muggs? Muggsy, come on up here and help me. Come, Muggs. I want to get out of here. Muggs! Hey, he's coming. Say, Muggsy? Muggsy? Skinny and, and Limpy went in that box, and they gone. I went in and looked, but I don't see them in there. I, oh, Muggs, I want to get out of here. I don't like this place. This place ain't... Let's see. Don't be in such a hurry. I'm not in a hurry.
Constable, have you seen any of our boys around town? No, I haven't. Why? Six of them missing, and I thought they might have come in for the bright lights. That isn't all. Linda went out to search for them, and she hasn't shown up. You say six? That's right. Well, sounds like Joe here might have taken a shot at them tonight. Hit one, too, maybe. What do you mean, took a shot at them? Well, I can't take them over the bearing ground. Can't have anybody prowling around dead night, you Yes, know. but why shoot at a bunch of harmless kids? Oh, they only used buckshot, Jeff. Couldn't have hurt anyone bad. Well, where'd they go? Where are they now? Uh, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, Jeff. I want you to take it easy, like. Well, come on, come on, what is it? Well, you remember hearing about that monster murderer on the radio? Yeah. Well, we got reason to believe that he's hiding out in the old Billings house near your camp. Joe here thinks he saw the lads heading for the house. Wait a minute, where are you going, Jeff? I just told you, my girl's out there in the woods. Oh, but you're not going out there alone. I'll call in some of the boys and we'll go with you. That's a dangerous maniac out there. Hey, Hank. Like the book said. Oh. Go ahead, open it. Oh, you open it. Maybe it ain't supposed to be open till Christmas. Go ahead, open it. You take the other end. Okay. It's locked. Are we lucky? Maybe we better try the other one, huh? Oh, I'm sure they're locked too. What's the future in locking coffins? Maybe we'd better go back downstairs. I don't think Pee Wee's up here. I don't think so. Yeah. Wouldn't you up here? No, would I? Hey, ain't that Pee Wee? Yeah! Well, let's get him! That's funny. No. Hey, Mugs! Look out, the monster! Quick, stop! Clippy, you sure scared the heck out of us. What did I do, make you nervous? Where did you come from? That's what I'm trying to find out. Where's Muggsy? Oh, he's right around here. Muggs. Muggsy! Muggs! Muggsy! Hey, Muggs! I didn't like to see the kid. I didn't see him go out, did you? No. Let's take a look. Hey, ain't no joke no more. Hey! Hey, what's the matter with you? Wait a minute. Is that you, Muggs? I can't breathe. Hey, Danny! I'll bat you right in the head for this. Let me out of here. Come on, open it up. It's locked. Just a minute, we'll break it open. Oh, my God, you want to give him water on the brain? God, open it. Oh, here. oh, here. Get the side of it. There. Hey, Muggs, you're lucky. We was just gonna leave. Hey, I, I couldn't get out. Must have got stuck. Hey, was that you in that hope chest? Don't excite yourself, Muggs. You've been through an experience. An experience? I've been through a catastrophe. And that's a beautiful way. Now listen, we saw Pee-wee come in here and he must be around. So you know, the quicker we find him, the quicker we can take a powder. Now let's make a search. What are you gonna be doing? I'm gonna relax, like you said. I'm gonna take it easy. Oh, dictator! It's dark in here. I wonder if I can find some matches in this place. Now, some folks might be, but I ain't. This sure is a nice, cozy room. That's what it is. Nice and cozy. Some mighty nice folks must used to live here. Can tell about this furniture. <laughs> That's what my mammy said. I wish I was with her right now, too. But this sure is a nice room. Yes, it is. Sure is. A... <laughs> what? A white spider. That must be the ghost of the Black Widow. Get out of here. Get out. No, get out. Get away. Get away. Whew. Whew. Look at the back of the can. Don't bother me. I don't smoke, so don't, I ain't bothering you. That's all right. Please, Mr. Spider. 
somebody to come back and wear me a ladder so I can get out of here right now? Ah! I'm getting out of here now. I'll tell you later. Let's catch him. Hey, where'd he go? Come on, I ain't got him. Come on out of there. Let go. Come on out of there. Let go of that. Oh, what? What is this? Yeah, now we got him. What are we gonna do with him? I don't know. Now, I wish we had a mouse trap or something. Hey, let's put him in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Throw him in there. Come on. Hey, listen to that. Hey, Spruno, look. is going to give me a nervous breakdown, I'll bet. Yeah, well, if it doesn't, I will. Hey, look at this gun. It's just a beauty. Hey, don't. But slide will be loaded. Uh, you can look. It's full of cobwebs. Even the trigger's rusty. Yeah? Oh, do you like that? Pikey! And I haven't got my hook with you. So what? Uh, they're out of season. There's no wearing them, Mutt. Hey, Mutt. Wake up. What are you snapping your fingers like that for? You woke me up. Didn't you hear the gun go off? Gun? I told you to find Pee Wee, not shoot him. We didn't even get to see him. It's a fine thing. See, well, if you want something done around here, you gotta do it yourself. Hiya, pal. I don't see it. I don't see that. He's still coming. <laughs> Man, now go away, we ain't bothering you. the young lady from the camp? Why, yes. There's a mad killer in the Billings house, and your boys, the boys who are missing from your camp, are there and in his power. No. I'm going to their rescue now. Then I'm going with you. You will follow my orders to the letter? Of course. Good girl. Come. So when this thing almost fell on me out in the hall, I got the idea to put it on. Not bad, huh? That's it. And mighty frosting. See, look here, Mugboo. Don't you do that no more. Don't do that. Why not? Man, you like to scare us to death. I'm going up and get Danny and... Mm -hmm. You guys wait down here. I got something to talk over with you. And if Pee-wee comes in, you hold him. Hold All him. right, we got him. Man, don't Murphy look funny in them there aluminum pajamas, though. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is too much. I... Say, what, you back so soon? Say, I thought you were to look for the other guys. Yeah, that's so, right. What are you trying to do, mix us up? What is this, anyway? Yeah, there's two of them. Okay, okay, I'll get 
give up. I give up. Pee wee. Hey, Pee wee. Hey, Pee wee. Didn't I? Very funny, very funny. You didn't fool me for one minute. What's the idea of playing games? What are you doing wearing that suit? Oh, my teller told me to wear like iron. Now you're a wrap this hook iron around your neck. Come on, let's get out of these animated sardine cans and find Pee Wee. Hey, Scrooge. Huh? Got a can opener? No, but I got a pocket knife. and Pee-wee are missing. It's up to us to find them or we'll all be missing. I wish I was missing right now. Let's go down to the cemetery and talk this thing over where nobody can hear us. Look at here, Muggs. Do we have to go out there? Why not? Well, I just don't do my best figuring in them that graveyards. Oh, come on. What was that? Ah, just your imagination. Look here, Limpy. If anything happens to me, you notify my mammy, won't you? Sure, sure. If something happens to you, who will I notify first? Just notify me first and nothing will happen. sharing a room with a skeleton. A real live skeleton? Did you ever see a real live skeleton? No, sir. And if I never do, that would be too soon. Now, if we can find Pee-wee, everything's going to be all right. That's how I got in the room with him. I was following Pee-wee, and he went in a secret passage. A secret passage? Where? Right down here in the cellar. I tried to find a spring to it, but I couldn't. Hey, maybe if we all tried. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> my roommate, Mr. Bones. Boy, ain't he skinny. <laughs> Come on. How do you like that? It's open now. Pee-wee must have come back. Hey, this looks like the place where the plot begins to thicken. Let's take a look and make sure. Come on. All right, man, we ain't waiting any longer. said about the monster, you can only scam with two things, silver bullets and blessed iron. But we ain't got neither, so there's only one thing we can do, and that's to get tough. Plenty tough, see? What do we do with the fellas back home when they step out of line? Knock them out! Exactly. That's what we're gonna do with that vulture and the little termite that hangs out with him. Get it? Sight! Right. Just like the subway if they had lights down here. I wish the train had come through. stay away, could you? The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Who? Who are you? You don't remember me, but 20 years ago in this very house, I was a living being. I had flesh on my bones, blood flowed through my veins, but you, you, you scared the health out of me. I was never in this house until tonight. You have made a mistake. It is you who has made a mistake, my friend. For years, you have wantonly taken the lives of millions. 
so I am going to take yours. <laughs> no! 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 Stay away! Stay away! That's good and tight. Hey, Mosher, let him have it. What are you, kidding? Leave him for the cops. Oh, let me punch his skin. Stay up to there, huh? You heard me the first time. Hey, what do you say we pick up Pee Wee and get out of this furnished morgue? Hey, maybe there's a reward for this guy. Boy, if there is, my mother won't have to take no more washing. Why not? I'll go out and buy one of those sporty horses and go around and collect it for him. Call this for me, Chauncey. Hiya, fellas. Pee-wee! Yeah. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Say, what happened to you guys? What happened to us, he wants to know. You've been running around the house like a guy walking asleep, and we've been chasing after you. Yeah? Last thing I remember is that guy giving me a pill, and then I went to sleep. I sure had some funny dreams, though. I'll play that across the board. Well, can you get up? Sure I can. Hey, fellas, do something to scare me, will you? I got the heat cuts. Uh-oh. We're still friends, ain't we? This way. All right, you men surround the house. When you hear a shot, break in wherever you are. Oh, I'm going in the front door. Let's go, boy. Let's get it. Come on. Are you all right? I certainly am all right. You boys can thank your lucky stars we got here in time. Yeah, why? That, that man's a monster. You're nearsighted, bud. You listen to me, I'll tell you the whole story. We was all going to town scene. We decided to take a shortcut to a cemetery when some drunk takes a pot shot at Pee and clips him. So we brought him up here to get him all fixed up. But first, we thought this was a haunted house. But it's not. And if it is, he ain't haunting it because we thought he was a monster too. But like I said, he's not. Just a magician. And a very good one too. Just come up here to practice some new routines. This guy here is his assistant, the best in the country. What about that head on the plate? Oh, just that's the old, uh, the old salami trick. You know, where the girl carries the guy's head in the tray? Well, I was the guy. That's Linda. Thank you. 
I got a better idea. What is it? Listen, there's a window in there, see? You fellas lift me through the skylight and I'll be all set. No, Commander. Ah, that's not. Give me that light. You keep that vulture's attention out here. Yeah, wrap our dog, guys. Yeah. Go ahead. I sure had us fooled there for a while, Van Gross, or whatever your name is. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. You fool. Hey, let's go figure out how we're going to spend that money. Hey, 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 hey. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for peace, the resistance, Nardo's famous disappearing cabinet. Good magic deserves lovely assistance. Will you help me, please? Why, yeah. Why don't you forget that's it? my girlfriend. All right, right, all right. No harm. She just disappears. Gonna bring her back? I, hope. I think that's probably the easiest trick i ever seen. I think I can do it. You can? I certainly can. Not only will I find a young lady, but when I do, we'll oscillate. Now, why don't you try it? I will. Just give me five seconds and I'll have her. Oh, delighted. What talent. I got a professor. Oh, have I got a And that was Spooks Run Wild! Jeez, that flick just forgot its subplots about the nurse and the killer, didn't it? However, it was a juvenile comedy where one of the annoying kids straight up got shot. I mean, it's what we've always wanted but never dared dream. Plus, Bella looks like he's enjoying himself. Let's see what mysteries await us next week. You're invited to a celebration! We're getting all the decorations in place and trying to set the proper mood because we're going to play a game. This is a game in which you take one side, and I the other, with death as the referee. That's right, it's the comedy classic about mystery and murder, Fog Island, and not some other movie, next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. Is anything important to you? Yes, solitude. That looks... Where did the shirt come from? Who, who even put it there? Last week it was a number four shirt, now it's a number three. Are, are we doing Sesame Street's laundry? What's going on here? Ah, oh, well. If you enjoyed yourself, please... And as always, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.